Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Panalisa Design Team Hall and this is part two. So I'm just going to go straight in and we'll do the dies first and the first one in part two is this. Now uh, I love this kind of lozenge shape in the middle there and it's very bee-like so this for me scream summer you've also got hearts in there so there's a definite way that it can go or of course it can go that way but i am going to measure it it is large now once again like the christmas panel i showed yesterday this one cuts in it does not cut out and that is seven inches so this is for your big luxury cards and five inches or of course a book cover so that's a really pretty one so that is the first one and I'm just eyeballing my camera to make sure I've got stuff in and next up be themed and I think that's just absolutely gorgeous You've got a bee that cuts in. You've got a honeycomb panel and a frame. You've got smaller honeycomb shapes. You've got be happy as sentiments there. That's a really lovely one. Really love that. We're going to be using that one. And then next up, who doesn't need them? We do, we do. We always need envelopes. So this is a really lovely one and it says miss you. Those are the words that will pop out and that one says thanks. You've obviously got um, a little label panel there as well so that you can write the name and address on and stick that on separately. But when this envelope is made, let's do the interior dimension on there. That is three and a quarter inches by three and three eighths of an inch so that's a lovely one for doing little cards or for popping inside of a mini album next up is a sewing box now if you go back to my panel lisa videos i've already received this so here is another one that is entering the box for the christmas giveaway and i will talk about the christmas giveaway at the end of this as long as i remember so this one already made it and you can go and look in my panel lisa playlists and you will see this one so that one is going to be given away and it's big and it's gorgeous so just popping that one off to the side next up and we have a whole slew of sentiments which are wonderful so we've got make a wish here for you get well soon hello cheers uh, best day ever happy wishes and who knows what that says so let's open it and peek under there uh you are so cute that's what that one says or you be cute yeah you be cute you be so cute we're gonna have to cut that one out and find out but that's a great selection of sentiments and i think this one might be the largest in the set so let's give this a measurement and i'm going to say that's two and a half inches it's great that it comes with the shadow layer by one and a half inches so those are the sentiments and then there's this gorgeous creature well it's not a creature it's a thing but it's gorgeous that lovely wild flower and leaf dream catcher you've got your feathers on the end there you've got all your leaves and your twisty vines that's going to be so pretty so I'm looking forward to making that one and it is huge things like this if you take your time with them and you can either give a layer of UV resin if you have it or use glossy accents or even a spray varnish once you've sealed any colors that are underneath and uh, you can use wire or string and you can make yourself really um, a semi-permanent dream catcher 
So, you know, if it's something that you like to do and just have swinging around in your tree for a couple of seasons, then then it's perfect. It is six and a quarter inches. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Look great in a frame too, cut in vinyl. Right, next up we have a set of tag pockets yeah so we've got a um you can cut a window with this one i imagine and then you've got the tag you've got that little lovely dotty edge there and that folds up as a complete box or pocket i'm trying to look at the dimensions so it is a pocket that comes with a tag now we're going to need to make that one to measure it correctly and i'm wondering actually if it would hold a gift card so if I do the, um, I'm going to say this bit here is the completed measurement for those that are interested. So that is two and three sixteenths. And then the height of that is, well, let's do it from here because that's where you'd put a gift card. Three and a quarter inches. So if you know the size of the gift card and uh, you're thinking about something like this for something like that, those are your measurements. Right, next up, we are travelling and uh, we have a camera. We have the word smile and you've got the Eiffel Tower, which is really chubbly and cute. And uh, you've got a little heart thing that goes across there. So that is really sweet. This piece here, I'm assuming, goes on this part of the camera. And you've also got a flowery section that can go onto the lens. So that one is really cute. And I can measure the um, what would be the finished size of that camera. And that is 4 and 1 16th. And then going up there to where the flash point would be, 2 and 7 8 So really cute. And then we get fruity, a bit summery, and we haven't had Christmas yet. But you've got strawberries, you've got grapes, lemons, bananas, apples... Um, I'm guessing that's either, yeah, that's an orange or a lemon slice. Could be a melon slice if you wanted it to be. Really cute. That's either a raspberry or a blackberry. And if I flip that over and have a look, those are grapes and grape leaves. That is just gorgeous. Love all of the stitching on that. Really sweet. Great set. Next up, we have a tall box. Now, this is either a box or a bag. It comes with um, two bows, which is really nice. You've got a handle. Yeah, so it's a bag. It goes this way around. And I can do the inside of what that's going to be when it's made up. That is three inches. And then the height of the bag when complete would be four and three quarter inches so that's a great size and you've also got a round tag and you've got a long tag now i don't know what that sentiment says best with love Ooh. we're gonna to have to cut that one out it definitely says with love down there but i'm not sure about that Right, next up is absolutely adorable, and who doesn't love a llama? Especially when it's a big llama, and I do love llamas. I, they just make me laugh, and I think that's an avocado. That's really cute. Really love that. You've got all the different um, flags with it. You've got a little cactus. Yeah, I love that. Things like this just look fabulous in picture frames. If you've got really simple picture frames, you can make something like that and put it in. I just love it. And I can't wait for my store to get um foam board back in. I can't get my foam board. Because stuff like this, cutting foam board, is absolutely hilarious when it puffs forward and it has so much dimension. But I'll measure the size of that llama because it's just gorgeous. That is four and three eighths. And then if I look at the longest points there, I'm going to say it's three inches because it's got its bobbly bit on its bum there. And then we have pretty flowers. 
So if you look at these, you'll see that your paper or your foil card stock or what you're using will emboss into those hollow areas. So if you turn it over, you can see everything will just get forced in to there and it will be embossed. So that is really, really pretty. And the largest flower, I'll measure that one. And we are at two inches, so it's a great size. And then next up, absolutely gorgeous oval shaped embroidery frames. Aren't they nice? Now you've got this section here which you could use as a shaker. Or you can just put some embroidery fabric. Um, you can get it in plastic now so that you can just cut it with your die and uh, stitch into plastic rather than, you know, have the fabric um, wobbling around all over you. So those are great. I'll measure the largest one, which will be the back section there. And that is two and a half inches. And then the height, which would be the tightening band. Uh, that is two and seven sixteenths of an inch. And then next up, we have some icons, which are very princess. You've got the sort of Cinderella slipper. You've got the princess words, you've got the diamonds, you've got the tiara or the crown, unicorn, and you also have a castle. Those are a great size too. And of course, the biggest thing in there is the princess. So if I measure that, then you'll get an estimate of just how big that is. That is three and a quarter inches, the princess word. And then next up we have... Ooh... Balloon doggy. I love balloon dogs. And you've got candles. I believe those are birthday candles. I'm looking here. I'm not sure what that is. I need to go to the site and take a look. Could be the balloon strings. It probably is, actually. But you've got a little doggy balloon and you've got a little bow. And I'm pretty sure that that says sweet. And then you've got all the um, sections that overlay so that you can double it up and make it dimensional. So that is really cute. And these, um, I'm assuming, are the tops of the candles. So doggy balloon. And then we have a scrolling flower with leaves. Another pretty one. And then we have, for those of you who love to do your um, junk journaling or little books, this embosses and cuts a postcard. So you've got the perforated area there where you're going to write your sentiment. There you go. Stitched all the way around the separate elements. That is really lovely. Great for stamping on. Gorgeous size. That is five and a half. By four and a quarter and if you think about that with let me go digging digging around in the pile I'll find it there you go you know with your Parisian icons in there and maybe a sunflower or something stamped behind so that you can create a really pretty postcard you could even put the camera onto there as well and layer it up so that's really lovely. And then next up, who does not love a pineapple? Especially a Christmas pineapple. And so you've got all the Christmas lights and the baubles and stuff so that you can have a nice tropical Christmas card. Really love that. You've got the layering piece as well that goes on top so that your pineapple can be all frilly. And that is four and three quarter inches. So if you look here, when you cut that out, you'll have all the layers that will fluff forward to uh, pop onto there. Really cute. I'm going to make that one. And then I have a post box. So it's got a heart there. So it can be Valentine post and you've got lovely pretty flowers and you've also got a mini envelope, but it could also be Christmas post, couldn't it? If you took those away, a little bit of snow on the top there and uh, a couple of little Christmas stickers or icons or something. And you've got a seasonal one. That's a gorgeous flower.
Well, you know me and my flowers. And it's always nice to have little envelopes. They're just so sweet. If you've got little scraps of paper and things, you can make loads of them. You can make a wonderful card just out of lots of little envelopes. And you could put little messages in there so that somebody's, you know, has got to look at them all. That is four and five sixteenths. And then if we go across here, we are at two and a half inches. But also, if you've got a long slim line and you can manage to fit 24, um, you've got a great advent calendar where, you know, you can just have little pictures or stickers or whatever it is you want to put in there for throughout the uh, month of December. So you can make great advent calendars with little envelopes. And then we have sheepsies. Isn't that sweet? My sheepsies are upside down. There's one jumping. There's one sleeping. And there's one standing. And it's got its own little fence. That is gorgeous. That's going to be great for spring and Easter as well. Or a baby card. I've never tried counting sheep. That's two and a half. The one that is leaping. And two and nine eighteenths, the one that is standing, just to give you a rough estimate. Right, next up we have a pincushion. Look at the size of that and look at those gorgeous buttons. Really love that. I might have to use my Cosmo Cricut paper to go with that. Really love that. Great size. Just grabbing my ruler. And we are at two and three quarter inches. And one and three quarter inches. And then next up, we've got two heart pockets, which are really cute. Really useful to have things like that for album pages and for popping on or inside a card if you want to put a note or some money or something in there. You could probably get a gift card in there, but it would only go down so far. But, you know, if it was enough that it would hold it in there, you could use a glue dot on the back of the gift card. Then you could certainly put that on the front or on the inside um, of a card. So measuring that down from... Let's go the top to the bottom there. I'm going to say that's three and a quarter inches. And then at its width, feeling it, that is three and three eighths of an inch at its widest. And then next up, we have some gorgeous forest critters. Now, I absolutely do want to make these because they just look so sweet. I've looked at these on the website and I think it's a fox and a bear and it might be a rabbit, I'm not sure. But they just look really, really cute. So I want to make that one. And then next up, we have a set of hairdressing. So we've got the hot curling tongs there. We've got the fork shaped comb. And then you've got the regular shaped comb. And then you've got a hairbrush. That looks like a sideways view of a hairbrush. And you've got a little mirror. You've got your scissors, you've got another mirror, and you've got your hair dryer, and you've got your hairspray or shaving gel. That looks like um, one of those brushes that they use when they're tinting hair. And then you've got what looks like a little fluffy bit there, which is probably something squeezed out of that can. So that's really cute. So that's a little hairdressing set. And then we have... I'm pretty sure that I already have these. Didn't I cut out loads and loads of them? This could be a different set. I'm not sure I'm going to have to go back. But um, if you remember when I got them a couple of months ago, I went absolutely crazy with them. So I need to go and check to see if I have this set already. And if I have, this will also go into the Christmas giveaway box. But it's a one, if that's the one that I've got, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I went absolutely crazy making them. And then I gifted um, the ones that I made away. Right, next up is 
Now, I am not sure what this is, to be completely honest with you. I've got a long chain and I've got a shape here. And I don't know, it's almost like a vintage light or something. You've got a chain pull or it's a hanging basket. But I really do need to go and have a look to find out what that is. Because you always get the feeling that could be a pull tab that pulls something through there as well. And I don't want to get it wrong. So um, you're going to know before I do because I'll link this as soon as I find it. And then we have this gorgeous little serrated bow. So you quite literally cut two and just bend them in, or as many as you want to, and then you've got the little tails. So you're going to have to cut that one so that you can see what that looks like. And then Panelisa always sends me a little gift of something, and this one is a little bunch of wildflowers, and I've got a few papers, but that's really sweet. That's going to look great on a journal pocket. Right, next up is papers. I told you this was going to be a long one. This one is called Mamure, and these are the papers that you will find inside of that pack. And this is a six by six. It's 160 GSM, and you get 12 different designs, which are two sheets. And that will give you 24 sheets. Now, the other packs that I've got are similar, but I will open this one and show you. And I'll just lay them off to the side. So we've got two designs. So we've got lovely Valentine's Burgundies. I'm just going to roughly go through so that you can see the quality. Very vintagey. So that is Mamure. Anybody knows what Mamure means, you can tell me. And then you've got to open that one, haven't you? <laughs> oh, I do. I love strawberries. I don't know what it is. I just love strawberries. I think um, lemons. Lemons might be a close second too. I just love the colours and the shapes. Look at that. Raspberries and strawberries. And, of course, this pack is called Berry. That is just wonderful. You've got roses and little berries. Oh, love it. You've got a few blueberries there on a, a lace sheet. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it is. Blueberries. And then I was looking at that, and that's a blue butterfly. So I thought my eyesight was going on me then. I thought my blueberries are turning into butterflies. And then you've got another pretty sheet of roses and a few raspberries. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, yeah. I love that. Oh, nice wood grain. I'm trying to find my way through. And then you've got children picking berries and flowers. Really sweet. No pun intended. And then you've got lace and script. And then you've got that beautiful border. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I think at the back, we have just the pink lace. A really pretty set. So that one is called Berry. And then next up, we have one called Honey. Look at that. Lovely, lovely, rich colours. You've got bumblebees, flowers, gorgeous little child there with a little bird. So I'm going to open this one and have a look. I apologise if my camera just went blurred. Sometimes, you know, it gets like that. When things start getting a bit too close to the camera. Right, so let's have a look here. Let's 
get inside it. I mean, the cover, you know, you can use the cover for making tags. Isn't that pretty? There are two of each again, so 24 sheets per pack. That gorgeous crowned bee. And then you've got all the ephemera with the bees. And you've got that one. You can cut those little pieces. They look great on the, the tops of matchboxes or inside a matchbox if you want to line one. I'm trying to keep my twos together. And then we've got bees with uh, little flowers. We've got butterfly and flowers. And then you've got that lovely vintage... I think that's tickets and receipts. And there's two of those. Aren't they gorgeous colours? Really rich and lovely. And then you've got another one there. Ephemera pieces, like collaged. I do love bee skeps. I think they're a fascinating shape. Especially the old-fashioned ones. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's like looking at old wallpaper in a in a country kitchen or something. Love that. And then if I flip that over, we are at um, ephemera pieces again. So I'm trying to find the cover so that I don't forget what's what. That one is honey. And then we have one called artless, which... I will open and then I've got the larger version of what I've just shown you so I don't really need to open those because you've seen them already in the six by six if you know what I mean but I will show you the pads so we've got lots of little children I don't know why it's called artless because it's quite arty if you ask me so once again, two sheets, you've got script. You know, I don't know if you like me, but sometimes I read these things just to see what bits of text, you know, people have chosen because you can find some really bizarre stuff when you start reading uh, bits of ephemera and whatnot. And there you've got little children. in the garden so that's another one that's nice for seed packets and summer and then you've got children playing dress up so you can get a good one there you go really pretty Got a nice stars and more babies. Very spring themed. More roses. Multi pattern of children there, and they're smelling roses. A nice blue lace and a, a little bit of script behind it. And then we've got them dressing up again. I can hear my boa barking. Oh, there's a lot of people going down the road on their bikes. <laughs> yeah. Bless him, he's charging up and down. And then we've got a lovely sort of honey lemon dot. That is really pretty. Right, and now about to approach the last but not least, and these are, I've got to measure them, or is it on? No, it's 8x8. Eight eight. So I was sent the 8x8 eight eight berry pads, and I can do a close-up of the lace there. Isn't it gorgeous? Doilies. And it I put my finger on it, it looks real. It's like you want to, you know, feel the embossing, but it's just a piece of paper. So that is the berry in the 8x8. And then I've got the mamur in the 8x8. And I don't know what's on the back. That one's a grey lace on the back. 
but you can see the detail there for the typewriter and the envelopes and then I got the honey in the 8 by 8 which I mean she's just absolutely gorgeous and there's the top of that B skep so that is lovely oh and on the back of there is a collage of receipts and then the 8 by 8 in the artless which is what we just looked at really pretty and that lovely honey lemon dot right that is what I have for you today and I do thank you so much for joining me now that I've done haul one and this is haul two you know what comes next I'm going to be making and creating and that's what I will be back with tomorrow you have an absolutely wonderful day thanks so much for watching once again and as usual all links below bye